Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you cheesy easy talent top lane. Essentially, corruption potion is absolutely OP. And you're gonna want to go conquer triumphant tenacity with last stand. And taste of blood as well with ravenous. Taste of blood's really strong too. Every time he steps up, we're gonna try to hit him with both sides of our rake. You really wanna try to land both ends of it. I could take a trade with him, but he's we landed both sides of it. I'm trading since my corruption potion's up and he's fighting on my backline minions right now. He doesn't even have a... Yeah, this look, it looks like I actually counter him really hard because my W slow. Yeah, we got his flash already. That's huge. Lord Sax. Thank you for the three months in advance, my guy. This, is, this matchup is way too good for Talon. Garen's Q purges slows. And Talon's W slows on the back end. So if I poke him with W, he, he actually can't approach me. Because he'll get like slowed no matter what. So I get to just keep bowling him. We're out of W, bada boom. Once we have our E, we'll be fairly ungankable. Got him. Ooh, I almost missed that one. That was insane. I don't mind taking a turret shot. I'm on Corruption Potion anyways. Not a huge deal. I actually kind of want him to hit me. So my minis will aggro him like this. Uh, I think he might actually live. He hit his damage reduction, which kind of wrecked my passive and my minion damage. Got him. I might have been able to live. If I flashed towards the wall, jumped over, I think I could have actually ended up living there. I got kind of greedy. We're going to go for W max. Your E does have a bit of an animation on town, and the slower you're moving, the longer it actually takes for you to go over the walls. So even if I was close enough to start my E animation, since Vi flash, you would have been able to pinch off the auto anyway. So in hindsight, flash E. I really didn't think I was going to end up living there, but in hindsight, flash E over the wall, I could have definitely gotten away from her. On the bright side, Garen Vi no sums, and uh, we're taking control of this lane. Something that's really OP about Corruption Potion is every single time you come back, it's a busted item. So Garen, looks like he actually started with a bunch of pots and armor. I That, that puts me at a huge gold advantage because he's going to have to keep repurchasing normal potions. We're going to wait for him to step up. We want to hit him with both sides of the rake. The way you walk really does affect how you're going to land the second part of it. If you're out walking them, that sounds funny to say, but if you are, auto attack, key map point blank range, fight him with my item advantage. I also have conquer. If the enemy top laner doesn't have conquer, you just straight up win that. Oh, wow. I wasn't trying to take that second turret shot. That was kind of goofy. I was getting creep blocked a little bit. At least we still have our corruption potion. He went for grass, so he's not going to win these long drawn out trades. Mm, I actually don't even remember him flashing. I may have been wrong about that. We got his W. It's really good. Thank you for the subharmonic terror. I'll pop him with it. We're trying to keep his passive off. We don't want him to pop that. Got him with both ends of it. Once we're six, we could just one tap him. He's gonna miss. Oh, we got that one actually. We could set up a recall. He doesn't have potions. Go ahead and shove this in actually. I think they should make Talon's rate cost more mana. The reason they don't is normally Talon, since hey, he's played mid lane. Have you been melee laning this season? Uh, I feel like I haven't seen you, JG, much in S11. Hmm. I've been doing both. I've been doing a lot more laning than I normally do. Thank you for the two months, WRQ19. I've just played most of the junglers and I've kind of like overplayed them to where I'm bored of most of them. Auto attack, key reset, ignite. He's dead. 
The damage is just insane. It can be tempting to go electrocute or hella blades, but you don't need that on Talon top lane. Talon top lane conquer is way better. You can apply it really fast with your W and your Q. We got the turret plate. We're going to go ahead and reset. If I had to compare this to something, I'd compare it to a more mobile version of GP. Talon's rake is very easy to use like the GP Q. You can poke out a lot of your laners. Something I will say that's a bit of a bonus is uh, since Talon was made for the mid lane, his W is doesn't cost much in mana at all. Like even when it's max, only 75 mana is nothing. Because he normally has to compete with mages like Sinjar or Annie. But top lane, since most of the champions are melee, you can uh, just bully them down by default. I think they're gonna have to adjust this because I it really does feel strong and I played against it and it just really didn't feel like much counterplay. If possible, you want to use your Q at point blank range at the same time. If you have to use it as a dash, that's perfectly okay. Get me over that wall. There's just no way you can chase me is the thing too. Like it's so busted. I think what they should do is make Talon's E cost uh, mana. It doesn't cost any mana for some reason. It just has a long cooldown on the unique terrain you just used it on. Hit him with both sides of our rake. We may lose cannon minion, it's whatever though. We got a fat wave. This is the wave of a lifetime right here. I might actually miss a lot of it since. All right, never mind. I have it in a pretty good spot. Gore Drinker Rush is by far the best thing you can go on town. Gore Drinker is still busted, by the way. Garen's roaming mid. We're going to go ahead and shove. Don't want to miss one, though. Use my little item there. Ice Whip's a really short cooldown. You can use it on your trades. You can queue into them and use that immediately. It's really strong. Can we do Talon Jungle next? Possibly. I need to study it a bit more. We'll go ahead and shove this. I am sitting on a lot of gold on top of that. I would like to get my uh, corruption potion back up and running. He really needs to dodge the second part of that rake. He's not willing to give up CS for it like he should. I'll keep chunking him down. I need to hit him, knock off his passive. Got him. Notice how I'm moving after I throw it, try to land the second part. You can't, if you just stand still, a lot of times we'll end up dodging it. We'll go ahead and reset now. I don't want to overstay. Did you see that? Literally one W and an iron spike whip. We walked up and iron spike whipped it first and one W and the whole wave was gone. It's actually so busted. I don't even have that much AD yet. It only gets better from here, boys. Got boost. We'll go ahead and grab control ward. Uh, we don't need to do that much roaming. I would say Talon Top can struggle-ish against ranged top laners. As long as you don't die to them before you're level 6, you, you just win for free. But Teemo Top, Vayne Top, Quinn Top can be a bit of a coin toss in your first 5 levels. Something that does give you the edge is once again the Corruption Potion is just so OP and you get free access to that. Garen shoving the wave, we have way more CS. He's, he's armor stacking, which isn't bad against lethality. Electrocute Talon, but against Conqueror Talon, it's only going to do so much. If you do want to play Talon top, I'd recommend ban Malphite. Malphite is another corruption potion abusing champion, so he'll basically out sustain you, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> Malphite will out sustain you. He gets to build armor and it scales off his kit. Throw a W out, hit both sides of it. I didn't want to take a turret shot there. There's some kind of scrap going on over there. If I can get turret plates guaranteed, I'd rather do that though.
Hit him with a corruption potion. We gotta be careful not to step back in the turret early. Walk with him. He's just not willing to trade with me. I'll keep shoving waves and pushing him down. He does not have the items to fight me without buy. Oh wow, I, I missed my gore drink. I completely missed that. He's a lot faster than I am. He has moon plate. I didn't think I was going to do that much damage. I just wanted to chunk him down and I was like, wait a second. He actually blew up with full armor build. Kind of nuts. We'll go ahead and take this turret and start to roam. Start to roam. A lot of people don't even realize Talon has a passive. Basically, after you hit them with three procs of your passive, your next auto attack or your Q applies it as well. We'll, uh, we'll proc and it does loads and loads of damage over two seconds. A lot of champions don't even have damage passives. Their passive is utility or some kind of scaling. That's a huge thing about Talon is he's got some raw damage there. There we go. We applied it. One W, Q, and an auto. Hit him with our Gore Drinker. I'll trade autos with him. Auto attack Q. As you see, we're just not taking damage. That's Gore Drinker is just busted. I'll go ahead and shove this and then leave. Or attempt to shove it with no mana and then leave, I should say. Missed two minions? Not, <laughs> not the pets. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that just happened. Wait, we actually missed every minion but two there. That's insane. <laughs> okay, let's back. <laughs> I really wanted the turret. We needed two more autos. Oh, well. For your boots, you do have a couple of different options. Plated steel caps or Ionians, typically. It doesn't look like mobilities work very well against their team. Uh, Plated steel caps. I would actually rather go for the Ionian boots here, and then we'll go for Tiamat. Tiamat gives a massive split push option. Plus, Ravenous is absolutely busted. Absolutely busted. How's the rank climb going? It's going good, Riley. Why no face cam? Because I'm naked. No, I'll do Vigo eventually, Tass. We'll take this turret and then we'll leave. After you take, you don't really want to come back. Ooh, balance wave clear right there, boys. One W and one Gore Drinker Vi's up top side. I'm gonna kill her on her red buff. I'll shove this way first. She just took Harold, just gonna go over there. Or possibly gank me. Garen, this is not gonna turn out well for you. This is not gonna turn out well, my friend. I didn't even need to ignite him. My passive plus corruption potion ripped him down really hard. And he's full armor, is a crazy thing. Conquer, corruption, talon top. Very easy to play. Just ban Malphite. This is actually way easier to play than playing something like a vein top. Because Talon has such good escapes with his wall jumps, it's really hard for them to actually pin you down in a game. There's Vi. She's right on my balls here. She already took a red buff. She might go to golems. She might come down here. Yeah, she's on golems. What do you know? Later. <laughs> so balanced. Uh, jumping over walls like they're nothing. She'll step over here. She's not even full item. I could probably kill both of them there. I weenied out a bit. Yep. I'm on full conk stacks too. 
ba 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 balanced let's go i think something they're gonna have to do is just nerf corruption potion corruption potion is outrageously hard to balance because it's not just healing and mana it's also damage there's no other item you can start in the game that gives you hp mana and absurd amounts of damage all right i'm gonna go ahead and reset i'm out of mana and i can also go back and get my uh, full item plus team out i can perma split push we've taken our turret we don't really want to go back top anymore until we get the other outer turrets so that means the enemy bot and the enemy mid lane turret as well how do you play talent top against irelia it'd be the same thing as the uh garen essentially against any melee top lane you're gonna perma poke them with your w level one there's really no level one top laner who has counterplay to that in terms of melee top laners. They're going to get pushed off the minions and you're going to hit level two first, or they're not going to leave the minions and they're going to get poked down really fast. Against Irelia, it'd mainly just be dodging her stun. As long as she doesn't land her stun on you, Conqueror Talon Top should be able to beat Irelia, assuming she's not already fed. Your main issue is going to be poke top laners like Malphite, which is why you're going to need to ban Malphite because he'll actually outpoke you with his uh, passive and corruption potion. With any normal item that you can start, you can only get like two HP potions max. And if you start D shield or D blade, you only get one. If the enemy top laner goes D shield or D blade, you'll you'll win lane by default. They just won't have the sustain to match the corruption potion burn because your W doesn't cost enough mana, in my opinion, on Talon. Go ahead and grab me this. Keep absorbing resources. This is much better than taking... Oh, wow, that was really scummy. Get him out. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. <laughs> B -b 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 balance <laughs> oh man all right well played yeah i was really frustrated the other day i was playing it on stream i was playing vein top into talon top and no matter how much i poked him he would out sustain me by default even if the trades he was taking was twice as worse as the ones i was so like let's say i was doing 100 damage to him in the trades and he was doing like 70 he that's a one trade because of the corruption potion and he built up such a lead that's why I'm doing this, guys. I didn't have the natural hate in my heart to want to play Talon. I think we could probably kill her. I didn't even need to use my R. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, he doesn't have flash. It doesn't even matter if you don't have flash on Talon. You can just jump over stuff. And it's so weird. Like, it's so weird how you can be so tanky while building just damage heal items. I think that's the, the toughest thing about balancing Gore Drinker. 400 HP with as much healing as it gives is just really challenging to balance mm, i want this red buff baby veins bot lane i'm gonna take this red buff this is mine it belongs to me now auto attack keep reset auto attack Ooh, all right looking like a double wide over there Oh, Jesus. I might have gotten a little greedy there. Maybe just a little bit. Merc Treads might also be good in this particular game. Vein Stun, Garen Silence, the uh, Ari Charm, Lux Snare. I'll, I'll sell those in the future. I don't want to sell them right now. I, I can get an Edge Knight for now. Edge Knight will cure that problem of Lux just hitting me with a stray snare. 
Like, I knew Ari was going to be there. I didn't think Vi was going to be there. Like, I saw Ari mid and she's going to pull back. I thought Vi would have been over here. That's why you don't do greedy stuff, though. I just lost a thousand. Oh, well, they got a thousand gold off that, I should say. Mm, I'll go collector. With my uh, Edge of Night, they won't be able to do those shenanigans again. We could even go for a Yomus. The faster you are on town, the better. Moby's is a more traditional item. It's just not really worth it on talent top. Talent top, you don't get to roam as much as a talent mid or obviously like a talent jungle. Oh, she's so done for. What? Talon, what was that, bruh? Talon's gotten pudgy. He didn't jump. Okay. Come on now. Some of these jumps just aren't adding up. I like your content for learning the game at a base level and your commentary is very pleasing. I watch your <laughs> videos a lot while I am eating for some reason. Oh man. I should start a cooking channel. Thank you, dude. Matt Luke for the four months. I'm happy that my commentary is pleasing to you. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this wave bot lane. I don't want to stay mid. You don't want to overgroup on Talon. That's where he's most vulnerable. I'll just keep jumping over walls. Sometimes on Talon, his E can get kind of buggy and you won't even jump over it. You'll kind of just dance on it. If that happens, you're most likely gonna die because the cooldown on it's really long for a unique uh, for anything you're jumping over. Everything is considered a unique piece. When it turns yellow, I don't know how long that means. I just know like red means it's a long ass time before you can jump on it again. Yellow's like, eh, it's kind of a long time. And then if you don't see anything, that means it's fresh and ready. Like a loaf of bread. Yeah, Lux, I already know your team's over there. Don't even try it, buddy. Hop over the turret like a champ. Uh, ooh. I'll attack you, reset, Gore Drinker. Hop over the wall, easy money. B -b 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 balanced. Who needs flash? <laughs> it doesn't cost mana. Why? Why is this a mana list ability? Garen's is coming on to me right now. I have Gore Drinker though, he's like right here. He knows he can't do anything about it. Barner, thank you for the 10 months, man. Hey, Garen's gonna have to retreat. I'll shove this wave and we'll get a huge level lead. Talon is a black hole champion like Karthus where they take ridiculous amounts of kills in CS and then they're just three, four levels up on everybody. If he couldn't apply Conqueror so fast, I think he would be balanced or if they just nerfed Corruption Potion. But the fact that he can stack Conqueror so fast and Corruption Potion and Gore Drinker, it's like, come on, man. There's so many ands here. With the Ravenous alone, we don't even really need our W. All right, let's get out of here. We need that Corruption Potion back. Ashes in the middle of nowhere. If I turns on her there, she's gonna get beat up. Uh, do I want this or do I want this? Ooh, this is way cheaper. You know, I'm actually feeling the Serpent's Fang. I've been seeing a lot more Talons and Lethality Champions building Serpent's Fang. Not be, yo, Big Bath. Thank you for the Prime, Big Bath. Not because of it's stats that it gives on breaking shields but look 2600 gold that's insanely cheap for 18 lethality collector gives less lethality and it's 400 more gold i think that's serpent's fang's big selling point is it's just cheap cheap oh we're missing out We're missing out, boys. Ari still had her R. I was like, what the heck, Ari? Saving that just for me, I see.
Yeah, they're waiting. They're like waiting for me to jump on them. It's like no, 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 no. Oh wait. We gotta get out of here. This is about to get crappy. I got you, Vi. I'm gonna take your blue buff just for that, Vi, for looking at me funny there. Thank you very much. B -b 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 balanced Ow! <laughs> Gore Drinker to finish him off. Gore Drinker's got a lot of range. <clears throat> Ooh, Vane, what are you doing? You think you can leave? Oh, okay. Is that what's going on here? Oh my god. This champion, dude. I gotta play more talent top. This is just... This is like the equivalent of NASA's jungle. Like, once you hit your stride, it's too much. And my ult's up again. It's only, guys, my ult's on a 28 second cooldown. I don't have ultimate hunter and I'm not full build. How is this balance? 28 second R. That's right, you better get back on Fountain Vein. Oh, uh, I guess that's GG. Well played, everybody. If you enjoyed this Talent Top commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.